to, to walk you through what I went through. Uh, I started out by getting pregnant, <laughs> but uh, once you get pregnant, they try and do the Ashkenazi screening panel. And uh, nowadays, it's cheaper to go and just send off your spit and get everything checked at once. Um, so I went through and, and turned out I didn't have any of the, it was not a carrier for any of the normal Ashkenazi diseases, but what I did have was I was a carrier for Factor V Leiden. And at that point, people started getting worried that I was going to possibly have a blood clot. Um, luckily, at the time, there was a brand new study that said that treating um, people who were just a carrier for Factor V Leiden with um, anti injectable anticoagulants was not actually helpful, unless they also had showed some other signs, like um, I think it was a deficiency in factor S or functional factor S protein, factor something. And uh, so they went and checked that, and I was clot-tastic, and I got to have, um, to inject myself with anticoagulants, first uh, Lovenox, and then unfractionated heparin towards the end of my pregnancy. Um, I, was, I was obviously concerned that I would get a clot and that there would be some kind of a problem. I actually have an atrial septal defect, so we were a little more concerned about possible clotting because it could, you know, run through the through the defect and uh, lodge in my brain, which would be unfortunate. Um, I was both concerned about that and I was concerned about the side effects of the Lovenox. Um, I had to give up cycling, although I was probably going to have to do that at some point anyways. Um, but I couldn't, but I couldn't cycle anymore because they were afraid I was going to fall off and hit my head and, and bleed. Um, it's pretty unfortunate. It's also a little challenging when you, ha you do have some data and you don't really know what to do with it because it's just medicine is an evolving science and it's an art and we don't know what to do with certain things. So it's not clear. So if you're a carrier for Factor V Leiden, should you be, you know, should you be injecting yourself with anticoagulants, which is no fun or, and it's expensive, or should you just leave it alone and it'll probably be okay. And you'll probably have a better recovery from delivery. We also, actually also, as a result, we sent my husband to be, to be tested to make to see whether he was a carrier of factor five Leiden. Turns out he's actually also a carrier, um, and we haven't tested our daughter for this at this point. But it's you know it's in her file. We'll keep it in mind, and at some point we'll probably test her. She's only 10, 11 months now. Partially because she has really tiny veins and it's very hard to draw blood. And at this point, it doesn't it doesn't play into any of the treatment decisions for her. When she gets a little older um, and she's doing sports or is more likely to get injured, then at that point it would be useful to know.